Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Mesolite Visual. My name is Dominic and I'm going to share with you how to create specific objects that Arcade Library doesn't have. Arcade also doesn't have the best furniture objects available in the market right now. There are tons of great furniture options out there that you may want to specify and use in your projects from different brands such as IKEA and Cecilness if you are from my region, among others. That's the objective of this video. We are going to create and model a custom furniture object using the manufacturer's technical information taken from their website. This object should be reusable for, for your future projects and should also be user-friendly and efficient in your workflow. With that being said, let's get started. Before we begin, I would like to ask you to subscribe for more videos if you haven't. Share the video with those you think will benefit. And if you find the content interesting, please drop a like. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is to gather all this information. Normally, these um, suppliers or manufacturers would have a website and they will have a technical information about every or each object or each furniture. So you need to gather that information in order for you to start. So what I have here is a sketch with all the technical um, specification or technical information that includes the size or the dimension of the the furniture the width uh, length and the height and then i have the finishes that can be used for this um, uh, furniture most especially for each component you'd have a different finish for that depending on the design and then the other information that is important again is to have the overall look of the the furniture you most especially just derived a sketch of a top which is the the plan view and then have an elevation you can also cut a section in order for you to be efficient in your modeling in Archicad. So without any further ado or with that being said, let's get started. So what I need to do here is to activate the slab. I think it's important to understand the uh, native tools you could use in order for you, your object to be successful. Don't use morph, just use basic architect uh, 3d tools use morph where you've got no option you've got no alternative i repeat this don't use morph morph will um, dramatically increase the size of your object for example if you have a table a desk which we which is about um or which is what we're going to model now you have a desk and then that desk is going to be multiplied in maybe 30 offices in your project if it's a big object in terms of size that will compound and accumulate and become a mess to your project it's going to now starting to crash or your gpus are failing to handle the size of of the project so you better have an idle an ideal um, tools that you could use to uh, model or assemble that uh, object of your choice in this case i'm going to use slabs uh, beams and columns that are the primary tools that i'm going to use for this uh, object so let's get started i'll activate the uh, slab tool and then what i need to do here um, okay i don't like the info box being here i will just come here on this line for the info box once we got this uh, move uh, cursor you can drag it and drag it alongside the the tools perfect now i have i have my info box where i want it so i'll activate the slab tool once we activate the slab tool i'll change the structure to just the basic and set the material because this is i'm going to start with the top of the tabletop which is going to be a timber material I'll find let's just go for timber structural and then let's move down here what we need under reference plane location we want to measure or the offset of offset base of our our top is going to be from the bottom we're going to measure it from the bottom right so i'm going to activate it uh the bottom right there and then set the thickness of the tabletop to be let's go for 30 for now 20 for now and then uh, this information like i said you get it from the uh, specific, uh 
supplier or manufacturer's uh, website okay and then from here what we need to do is to draw i'll activate the geometry method of a rectangle in order for me to place this in my aggregate so what i need to do is to specify the first point and then diagonally as i'm drawing across like that i can now key in the width and height of or the width and length of this desk of which i'm going to have uh, uh, the length around two meters which is two thousand millimeters i'm using millimeters for this and then i'll click on the downward arrow in your keyboard to access the height parameter or the the width parameter and then key in um 722 which is basically no it's 1000 1000 millimeters which is equivalent to a meter then hit enter to place okay so i would zoom in here i normally like to take my modeling to the origin point the origin point is this um, point here in aggregate so i would control d and move this right on the by the corner right on top of the origin point like that this gives me um, a better position uh, in order to specify my coordinates on the xyz um, direction so it's important to always do that all the softwares or all the programs that you're using even for sharing information they use this zero 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 um, coordinates so you better always position your files or your model or your project within this area of the origin point okay so let's move on we have uh, i can check this on 3d let's just activate 3d here on the tabs and come here and to fit window on the bottom of your interface that's basically what you have right i'll take this and then uh, let's scroll down here under floor plan and section i'm going to set the pens to be pen one for all the parameters let's just set it to be pen one something like this it looks great and then once you are done we need to go back and start to do the structure of our the support of our our desk so we have uh, columns i'm gonna activate column and uh, come here the column is going to be um a steel it's going to be of a steel material i'll type steel here and then you just use steel scroll down and under linked stories i would get rid of the link because it's just the desk i'm gonna say not linked and then the height of this is going to be seven um two two seven oh sorry yes 722 722 millimeters and then the offset from ground is going to be zero remember we now have to take our our table top offset from zero is going to be 722 because that's the height of our support or our the structural support of this table so once we're done let's scroll down here the dimensions or the cross section size of this um metal for legs it's going to be 40 by 40 right okay because this is the linked dimensions is active it's going to change the other parameter automatically okay so the origin for this i would uh, i mean the reference axis for this i would go for the bottom right corner and then uh, let's scroll down what i want is the surfaces let me just go I think it's up find the surfaces there are no surfaces here okay there we go click on the surfaces and uh, let's override this to I'm gonna use metal aluminium for now because uh, but according to the the technical information from the, the the manufacturer this is going to be it's normally comes with black aluminium finish so we don't have black aluminum finish in archicad library would have to come and create that surface um, uh, custom so it's fine for now let's just use this metal aluminum and then zoom in by the corner here and then click to place your column 
there we go and then if we check on 3d that's basically what we have and we need to set our um, tabletop to be the height of our the height of our what you call our support which is 722 something like that and then now we go back to the front end view i'm going to mirror a copy of this column to the other uh corner of the table or to the other side of the table so I'll control shift m a keep a, a shortcut key for mirroring a copy once you've um activated the mirror copy you'd see this plus sign in your cursor you can hover uh, on the midpoint of your your table let's just use it horizontally like that click on it and then draw a horizontal line to place your 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 column okay so now we have two columns as legs like that on 3d that's what you have for now it's just it looks basic and then we would need another member same profile going all the way horizontal like this for both the top and the bottom that will be forming our design of uh that's where the the name of this uh furniture is being derived from it has a this diamond um profiled uh or legs that are made up of steel and they call it pro diamond loop it's a loop that is going all out all what you call across all the the sides so what i need to do here is to activate the beam tool and then i'm gonna set the beam tool to be as equal as the the column so i have the structure to be a steel like i did for the column and then scroll down here make it 40 like we did for the column and then i'm going to use the edge or the reference access location to be at the bottom and then the material i was going to overwrite all the materials and set to be metal aluminum and then you can link the services to change them all and then once you're done let's start from here i'll pick this point oh sorry and then uh, place it to there that's basically what we have we need to take a copy of this to the top uh, control shift d and uh to carry a copy let's pick this top corner of this and then place it here that's correct okay so one thing that we need to do in always it, it should be always in your mind you have to have the same surfaces or the same finish for both your beam and your column and you're gonna have also the same pens uh, settings so for my pens i'm going to because it's an object you don't want to have different pen styles for for object you have a different pen style for your tabletop for your legs or supports you have to have just one pen for for the entire object so that's what i'm going to do here i'm going to select my two columns and then come here under floor planning sections and set everything to one as we did for our tabletop so i'm going to say one here and just say one there just for everything like that let's do the same to our our beam come here under flop and section set everything to one one is around uh it's uh 0 0.13 millimeters thick um uh, pen so i like it to use it for furniture objects and the other secondary for annotation um purposes so that's basically how it is and we need now to shape up our profile or to change the profile of this to be a looped diamond how we do how do we do that i'll start with the um what you call this the beam let's select this beam and then go to options and complex profile capture the profile for this selection element or for the selected element and then once you this window for profile is open it will give you the surface or the feel for the for the beam you just captured so what you need to do here is to pick this point or corner 
put it in the middle let's do the same to this corner again and then put it that way you can now save this let's save this as um, okay it's important to say because we've used column and beam i will save both for column and beam right and then save this as um, sorry i got distraction from the phone sorry about that um so like i said we need to save for both the beam and the column because that's what assemble or the makeup of our of our loop structure or the leg structure of our our tabletop so i'm gonna say uh, this will be the loop profile i just and then hit ok now we've saved our profile let's go back to our our model and then uh, let's select both these elements and then apply there we go it's now been applied let's do the same to these two columns apply the column is going to be let's see if it's uh, yeah no, i think it's it's accurately uh, done as you can see let's just inspect all the corners from this corner we are having an issue this corner we are having an issue I don't know what might be the issue here see. oh no I see because uh, it has to be the inverse of this we have to mirror our we have to set a new profile or a separate profile for this it's just to mirror it to look down because if you look at uh, in, for 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 it to, in order to have a, flu, a fluent loop we need to mirror this one okay let's edit this also oh, instead of editing we can duplicate it let's hit on this plus and duplicate this and then I'll just leave it at loop profile one it's fine like that and then hit ok so I'm going to edit it and then uh, once this window is open I'll select the fill and then control M to mirror and I would use the midpoint of oh sorry let's control M to mirror and use like I said the oh what's going on here okay let's just use the mirror then I'll use the midpoint of this like that and then I would hit save so go back to the 3d window and then when apply the changes to only this top part and then you'd see now your loop is continuous Okay, it looks great it's fantastic okay and then we need to take this to the other side uh, let's just close this uh, that we need to take uh, this this um, component I'll select all of them and then group control G to group or you go to edit and then you have your grouping here but the shortcut is control D let's go back to the front plane view to see and mirror this I'm gonna select that make sure your suspend group is active so that you can control shift M to activate mirror a copy tool or command and then use the midpoint of your desk to mirror this to the other side if you check on 3d now we have both sides of our support like that so we need a support here for the tabletop on the middle and then this is according to the design it's made up of a, a steel again the same finish for a steel so i'm going to go back here and then i'll activate the beam tool to create that and then this is going to be around uh, it's going to be around instead of the height is going to be 40 okay and let's uh, suspend this and then the width is going to be I think 120 yeah and then I'm going to draw it from here to there it continue I don't know why it's supposed to be on the level let's check on 3d once that message comes it means it's been drawn from a lower 
uh, view so i'll select this and then uh, let's set it to home story to be ground and set its height because we are using the 722 which is the height of our and then because 722 is on the bottom let's change our reference axis to be at the top so that it fixes that as you can see now we have that and we need to move this offset this from the edge to the middle by i think uh, let's select it and then move it back by 250 all right 250 millimeters basically that's where we go if you look at let's just activate 3d you see here we have we have an issue of joint uh, connecting these two elements i think it's it's even from that side as well so we need to make it um clean this so to do that is to select let me just do it here on 3d i'll pick this point and then i would use um, the stretch length and then i'm going to stretch to this to the middle or to the middle of the profile of the legs so that it can clean up they are on the same material and they will nicely clean only what i need to change is the line is the pens uh, styles i'll select it go back like the other elements i'd set it to one set it to one Set it to one like that for everything. Okay, so that you can now have a clean connection for both um, sides. So we need to select also this point again and do the same. Make sure it's aligned with the center of your profile like that in order for it to clean. So we have our desk. We are left with um, two details. We need to provide there is according to the design there is a lip here on the other side so i'm going to go back here on the 3d that lip i'm going to use a, a wall tool so let's say activate the wall tool i'm going to change the structure to be tim uh, basic and then change the material to be a timber oh sorry timber material let's just go for structural scroll down here the we don't we're not going to link this oh sorry this is fine unlink this to not link and then set the height of this to be how high is this according to the drawings here it's roughly 200 and yeah 250 250 millimeters that's the height of it and then the thickness of this is going to be the same as the edge of um in the same of the the tabletop which is 20 and then let's go down to the surfaces all right surface is going to going to make this oak oak wood oak then set all to be the same then uh, i can draw this there to there and then i'll make sure the reference location is from the inside so that it can be on the edge nicely like that so let's check on 3d where is it oh there you go let's like that and then we can manually position it but i have the dimensions then I, oh let's just do it manual i'll control d and then move this to the underside of the tabletop that's basically and then there is an option um, offset from both edges it's not full length so what i would do i would uh, i think the offset is 200 let's go here and draw or oh, just hit alt l to draw a guideline i'll draw a guideline here for for 150 alt l again a shortcut to draw a guideline and then draw another guideline for 150 here so I'll select this um, wall and then stretch it to the 150 edge for both sides. So if you check on 3D, that's how it is on the manufacturer's design.
Okay. I think it's supposed to be 100 DC instead of 150. Yeah. I made a mistake. Let's just say Alt L to activate. Oh, sorry. Alt L to activate the the guideline and then 100. Select this. 100. I'll do the same. Alt L. Oh, sorry. Alt L. Draw it from there, 100. Make this stretch it to all the way to 100. Okay, I can get rid of these guidelines by coming here under guides and then remove all guidelines. Right, perfect. So let's check this on 3D. Yes, I think it's almost what's in the manufacturer's um, information. Okay, so from here we need to make this material to be the same. Uh, we just select the top and open its settings. Oh, I could have just, could have just did digital uh, here under the surfaces. Let's overwrite all the surfaces and then set it to wood oak, wood oak light to match the other timber um component so this is basically on 3d how it is and let's make the pens for this wall to be consistent throughout all the components is supposed to be you will see the the importance of doing this while while you are doing your modeling okay so i'm done with the, the majority of the components we need to create a cable um, hold here so go back to the, the top and then pick parameters of the top uh, table that cable hold supposed to be in the uh, in the center of the table okay so I click to draw it uh, it's supposed to be 100 by 50 something like this and then let's control d move it to the edge and then uh, it's supposed to be sitting or aligned with the midpoint of your table like that and then let's move it offset it from the the edge by 200 okay there you go and then from there we're gonna change its material to let's change this material to maybe oh, it's gonna be steel it's a steel and then uh, I would have to create a hole here. So I'll pick the circle from the document tool and then let's draw a circle based on this midpoint. Draw a circle based from here. I'll draw a circle of radius of 20. 20 enter. And then uh, draw it there. Let's move it to the edge here and then move it back. You need to move it back by let's measure from there by five millimeters. Let's move it of five millimeters, something like that. And then I'll select the slab and pick one of the points to activate subtract with uh, subtract from polygon. And then I can activate the magic one tool by press and hold the space bar key in your keyboard and then click on this um, circle. So if we created a hole for our cables and then this will be a steel blade that supports the entire uh, uh, hole. So if we check on 3D, we have something like this above. So we need to subtract this material from uh the tabletop let's do that on the top view i'll select this uh top material and then click on one of the points and do the, the same again to activate the magic one by clicking and holding the space bar key and then click on the on this element so if we go back to 3d that's how it is i think the material needs to be like i said Let's use maybe metal. 
it can be an Almina for now. Let's just do that for now. That's basically it. And normally, it, I don't think it's supposed to go all the way in the under, underside of the desk. The thickness of it should be thin because the ship a plate of a metal. So let's change the thickness to maybe five. Okay, and then we can come here, raise this control D to raise this manually to somewhere there, and leave it to create this depth in order for it to be realistic. I think the it's too big. It's too big. Let's uh let's make it three five yes yeah it looks realistic okay that's where the cable will be going um from the power points all right it looks interesting um and uh, we would need uh, the last components which is the floor pro uh, protector um this one i'm gonna use a collar Again, let's go back to the uh, ground floor with the plan view and then activate the, the column. This time around, we're going to use a structure of a circular column. And it's going to be, the material is going to be, let's find something like plastic. All right, just go for this plastic and then let's set the, the height of it to be, uh, I think, it should be around. 5 or 10. Let's just do 10 for now. And then scroll down here under the material or surfaces. Change this to a paint ivory, which is a black paint. And then the width. Let's go here. Let's find the radius of the of this to be 40. It has to be equal to the legs okay and then come here let's place it there so you can activate the uh, arrow tool and move it to the midpoint of your element so if you check on 3d you should have that uh, placed so it's sitting on zero i think let's make it five yes it sits it sits right on zero and then make sure the reference axis of core is on the center so that you can align it nicely let's come here use this to move it to the center okay let's do that perfect it's supposed to sit on zero zero that's the that's the the protector between the desk and the floor so what we need to do is to select all this and then uh, accept the that rubber and what we need to do is to also oh, is to move everything i'll say control d and then move everything up by the distance of this element because oh sorry about that I'm gonna move it up by the height of the the protector, which is twenty. It's I think we did ten or five. Move it up by five, so that it can sit right on top of our protector like that. And select it. Change the material. I mean the the pen style to one to be consistent throughout just do that for all the parameters right now we need to make a copy to the other side because they have to have two of this and then two of this to the other side so let's go come here Control shift m to make a mirror a copy from this to there and then select all of this Control g to group them so that i can Control shift m to mirror them to the other side okay let's check on 3d that's how you have a complete object that's how you have a complete object this object has um, a series of style we have an l shape we have um, a, 
what you call this it, it has a gain and the another extension where it supports from from the sitting side your you'd have your your cabinetry and shelving on your side so i've started with this uh a basic one it looks basic but it's it's, it's a very intricate um piece of furniture as you can see it's modern it's good for the uh modern executive um spaces as you can see it carries all the all the attributes for it to be a minimal and very high profile a piece of furniture so from here you have to think about to reuse this um piece of object for your future project the way it is it's not friendly for you for you to be reusable because it's an object that is being assembled with multiple elements so to control and manage this within your project is going to be a headache so the best thing is to save this as an object instead of leaving it the way it is it's not reusable as it is now what we need to do is to save it as an object so what i'll do i'll select everything like that and then from here i'll hit ctrl g to group everything and i will um, go back to the ground floor what i need to do i need to also to think about now the projection uh view projection 2d style of it so the way it is it's not well represented i will select the okay let's unsuspend the group and then select the tabletop and uh, come here under floor plan section make sure you activate the cover fill and then set the cover fill to be a background something like that yes and then this pen will be for the background right okay so once you are done with that you have to right click on your screen and then display order to bring this front now if this has been projected like this from your your project this is the perfect way of doing it okay and then I, what i need to do is to align this before i save as an object to to center it or to make the origin point to be on the center that will easy up your your placement of object within uh, a, a, a complex project so i'll select everything like that and then i'll pick this midpoint and then wait for the arrow to i mean for the circle to guide you and then do the same to this that side and then wait for the circle to appear and then you can find the midpoint of your desk and then take it from here place it to the origin point like that so if to save an object from this point it's a great way to do it so if you check on 3d you'd see now your xyz coordinates are on the center of your project or of your model okay that's the best way to do it and then from here let's select everything make sure the suspend group is active or you can just do it on 3d to make sure everything is being selected right to make sure everything is being selected you can go to file and libraries and objects let's save this as an object it will ask you the top view of the selected elements will be used as the floor plan view of your new object that's why i was so keen to make sure the 2d view looks the way it's supposed to the representation has to be correct so i'll hit ok and then uh, you can create a folder here and give it your this one i'll say pro um, diamond uh, office desk and then hit create there we go i can now save this i would say style one for now because it has different styles that i've created i hit save and hit save to save an object and then um you would get this window uh about your attributes this is about attributes it's important guys to understand this uh part because if you really want to reuse your object in future project this is has to be set 
um, on it on the right way so for example the first surface here it's aluminium because I know it's for the support it's for the legs so I'll just say legs here and then wood oak line is the top uh, I can say table top and then this surface is for the floor protector floor protector we have the line type okay and then we have the this pen is for the I'd say the line pen right and then uh, would have the background pen no 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 okay this one is the line pen okay this is the background pen remember the, oh sorry the background what's going on here okay background pen perfect i don't think this is necessary on this type of object the building material so i'm gonna get rid of the that once we've placed this and then i'll say okay let's go back here on the ground or on the plane view and uh, place that object i'll hit activate the object tool open its settings by default to pick the latest object or the latest created object so you see now we have this building materials here we don't need this in our object we just need the pens we need the surfaces you see now they take the naming that we've been doing and then uh, the lines okay so we need to get rid of this right but let's hit okay and then place our object here so we have this problem because uh okay let me just say this if you if you go back to the object and then make sure you change the background to this let's preview and see it doesn't change this is a problem because you don't want to show you the symbol of your object like this in your project so that has to be done from the beginning it has to be resolved from the beginning so the best way um, i saved this on 3d window remember but that wasn't the best way the best way in order for your object to take the attributes well or to orientate the attributes well for your object is to save it from the ground once you've sort because you can see we've here we have a clean presentation of our of our object so you need to do it here on the on the 2d so i'm going to select everything and then make sure the suspend group is active just to make sure everything is being selected and then i'll go to file and go back to the library so object save selection as an object we're gonna replace this and then I replace and then you'd see uh, this again would have to go through the process and table top this is legs this is the surface for the floor protector floor protector then we have the fill background or the background fill let me just say background fill background fill you can say background fill type or background fill is fine and then we have uh, the background fill i think this is going to be type and then this is going to be fill right this is um the line type this is the i think this is going to be out i'm going to get rid of this line of this parameter i'll just say out now and then the pen this pen one is the object pen or the line pen okay across all the the entire object and then this pen is for this one is going to be out 
I don't think it's we have just one pin for our our object and then we have the background pen. I can come here, copy this, then paste it here. Make sure it's fill pen. Okay, these two I'm not sure where they are coming from. Um, uh, I don't sh this. Okay, for now I'll just leave them as pen four, pen four. I can come and delete them on the object settings or on the object's GDL settings window. So for the building materials, there's nothing you can do. We're gonna get rid of them. And then hit OK. There we go. You see now we have a clean 2D symbol for our object. And then you can go here and then set let's open it settings under custom settings let's go under pens and then set this pen is the one that it's active so if we change it to this to one it's going to change our our element so we've misinterpreted the naming of those pens so to address this issue because we have this pen this pen is supposed to be the line pen i don't know what i did oh no i've swapped them the background pen and then this is the background another background fill pen this one okay well, you see how to fix that well, i went to um control shift and o to open the gdl object settings window or you could you could just go to file and then libraries and object and then hit open object the shortcut like i said i repeat is control shift o all in your keyboard you can come here and give all the details about your project this case is created by mesolite mesolite beam it can change the licensing part you can give a description a keyword it's important keyword is it's meant for for the object to be searchable within the object library there's a search power in the object library so if you have a nice keyword the best way is to copy the keywords of existing library of a kit for that particular object if you're doing a desk like this go to an architect object uh, desk library and then copy the keywords they've used in order for you once you've placed it in your library it's going to be searchable so i'll come here and then the most important part is going to be another parameter so these are the different views of your your elements so like i said the most important part is the parameters under parameters here you would want um to to define some rules here but before you do that let's go back to details and then we're going to change this object object subtype currently is under model element so we're going to come here and then let's find uh okay let's just leave it under model you can we could come here and be specific because this is just a furniture you could find uh furnishes or uh, this is a, a table you can be too specific like that all right let's go back to the parameters and then uh, what i want to do here because we know what are parameters we need to display because i'm thinking of the user you, you get what i'm saying i'm thinking of the user for example we had a, a, a mistake we did for the pens but before we go to the pens let's get rid of the building materials I'll select all of this and then delete, 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 and delete. So that when it comes to here, if we control save, it will save these changes to your object. Let's say if you, let's wait for you to finish saving. Um... I don't know why it's taking 
it's taking all the time to save this week. There we go. If you come here and then uh, open the settings of this object, you would see now we have removed our building materials. We are left with the pens, the surfaces, the lines, and then the fields. So we did a mistake of uh, the pen 5 is supposed to be the outline. The line pen for our object so we need to uh, swap between line one and this so let's do that i'll go back to the gdl objects window and then this is going to be i'll copy this and then pen five something like that and then this um, i think this is not let's hit save and then confirm something as well because uh, this is supposed to be we need to delete this one okay once it's saved let's go back to the plan view and I'll open it the settings for this and uh, I need to confirm okay now it's fine the line pen is this one and you could check on your preview okay and this is going to be out this also is going to be we're going to remain with only uh we're taking out pen four and then this one okay so let's go back to pen four is going to be out i'm going to delete and then this one as well so you have background your background fill pen and then i'm not sure with this one as well let's hit save you have better be sure guys before you can delete because if you delete a parameter that is effective your object won't work um if it, uh, effectively so you really need to be sure for with all the parameters that are needed to remain and then eliminate all the unnecessary parameters parameters sometimes can come with the or the error modeling of your object so you need to clean up such issues so i would open its settings as well pens now we have uh okay i think that's fine so we've got background pen background field pen and then we've got background field type pen this is going to be background field type pen then we'll be done with our pen settings so i would say feel type pen something like that this we could could name it as contour that's how i could get um, um that's the technology of i for the line pen of the of the your your object right okay once you're done i think i need to get rid of this show hotspot no no no, no. use stored environment and then i can hit save that will be pretty much our object okay that will be pretty much our object let's save and then see the last results and uh, okay let's see now the final product okay here it is and we can come here and check all the parameters in place as you could see it's wonderful and then you can play around with your parameters for example if you don't want to fill with the background you can use a different color and then it will fill in your object like that which is fantastic I love it okay and then let's check on 3d um come here and uh, see this let's go here open settings i think the flop and section is active you can also override this to make it one something like that okay wow and the material i have swapped have you realized we've swapped the material for the tabletop 
with the legs so you come here and then make sure under surfaces the um, tabletop should be a wood oak material and the legs are going to be metal aluminium perfect so that's basically how it is and that's com it completes our object okay so that's basically it and then uh, i've uh, created a library for this case just for you i know some of you don't want to go through all this uh process creating your objects and this will carry a lot of time or to now deviate you from your daily design process and now you're focusing on uh, modeling or designing a small thing like a table so i created you a set of library of different style of this type of object so if we go to let's go to the file and uh, okay before you go to the file we need to explode uh, it comes as a this is the product guys that i'm talking about we have different types of style as you could see uh, that but let's go here and then open the i've already downloaded it once you download you receive both the file the architect pln file and then the uh, compressed winra library so we need to right click on this library and extract it extract files now extract files here so that you can have the folder extracted if you open the folder you'd see we have different types or three styles of objects so we need to go back to our archicad and load that library into our project so we are going to say file and then libraries and objects library manager and add the library i'm going to go to the desktop it's under training this is the library i'll choose and then hit ok you could see the size of our library is just 55 kilobytes this is important guys on creating objects you don't want your library to be huge in terms of the size because it's going to affect or contribute dramatically in your in your project uh, polygons and then you start experiencing some crashes or, uh, project starting to open slow and it will now disturb you to uh, deliver your project on time so that is not an effective way of working so create products or objects that are lighting weight so that you can be multiplied uh, uh, in many occasions in your in your project without affecting your project uh, performance i'll hit ok to load that library once the library is been uh, loaded it's still loading once the library is being loaded if you activate the object tool and then open the object settings from the library you would see let's find the linked library there's this folder we just loaded cecilness office furniture because the cecilness are the the supplier or the manufacturer of this um desk desk so if you click on this arrow i've created it in such a way that you could also see it on the preview how the objects look before you place them okay so let's just let's start with the style one if you come here you see everything is nicely uh, done you have just the parameters you need to define your object you don't need much of information here you just need important parameters to important parameters for your attributes to define your project you need just for the finish legs and then, and then that's it all right so i can hit ok from the preview again and this is how it is you could preview it on 3d and in a picture on an elevation in a 2d that's basically how it is and then you can hit ok let's place it against this one we created the desk so if you check on 3d select it and then hit f5 to check this on 3d that's the desk we 
my offer you could come by selecting the object and change let's change the legs to me uh, that we can say the what else can we do the cable hole also it can change to something else you can play around with some settings here. it looks great that's basically your object and then we have different variety like i said these are it comes with different styles so if you go back to the folder we have this style again check on 3d it looks great this is how it is you have your side table and shelving cabinets on the side and then even if you cut a section on this they are properly done assembled in a manner that it contributes significantly in your let's just in your drawings your sections your views for example if you are to cut a section here so that you can see the the assembly of this let's just cut a section there i'll make sure it includes everything like that right click and open this section with current view settings you would see what i'm trying to refer to see now this is perfectly done right this is um, the what you call the handle the handle type for your cabinet okay this is where you put your fingers and then pull the shelf out or the drawer out so it's a style of uh, modern uh, what am i doing modern handles so i can zoom in here clearly you can see how it's been done okay so even on the sides it looks great there's no glitches of materials it's perfect for your projects okay so we have three of these um, styles okay let's uh, let's see the last one the last one is just an L just an L let me just select all of them the last one is this it's just an L of the first one okay that's basically it. check the link on the description to download this um, library and and uh, uh, where you download this library just give me a review about this project can you use it for, for maybe for a week or two and then I would need to get feedback from you and if I can continue to create objects like this for you I've got a lot of ideas on objects to create but um, if there's no demand there's no point of me to do that so I'll be waiting for you to show me is it necessary for me to create or go ahead and create objects on this manner in order for you to optimize your workflow I understand you are busy in your day-to-day -day, um, activities some of the things you don't you don't need time for that uh, if you have someone who can do it for you let it be so yeah if you have time you can watch this video throughout and, and learn how to create this all right thank you very much guys I'll see you in the next video I appreciate if you haven't subscribed for this channel make sure you you subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified for new uploads like videos like this one so you've been uh, if, if, if you think this is beneficial or it can be beneficial to someone you know make sure you share it share this video with the rest of the people you think they can learn a lot from this video also like or dislike if you didn't like uh, just to alert me give me the feedback on how this video can perform but let's interact in the comment section i'll be waiting for you for many questions if you have any questions regarding um object modeling or just modeling in general let me know in the comment section i'll be waiting to answer each and every question that is being it's going to be uh, uh, uh uploaded thank you i'll see you in the next video bye bye